Yes, I'm going to be talking about boxing wisdom. Uh, what I've learned from me just boxing. Um, I've had three amateur fights. And um, and the tr through the training and everything, what I've learned, one of these... One of the rules is um, you got to don't overthink, yeah. Let your hands go, yeah. And I'm using Andy Joshua, one of the examples. I mean, there's many fighters out there who have been taught to let their hands go. Um, Adrian Broner, do you know what I mean? Throughout his whole career, people have been saying the same thing. Do you know what I mean? He's got, he's got to let his hands go. If Broner let his hands go, you know, he'd win more fights than he'd lose. You know what I mean? That's the narrative with Adrian Broner, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, so I'm talking about I'm gonna talk about Joshua, and um, yeah, he's got to let his hands go. It's a simple answer. Um, being like a short fighter myself, like in boxing, um, yours, you, you, there's no choice. You have no choice but to let your hands go. You have to let your hands go. You cannot be. You cannot overthink in there. You know. You cannot try to. A boxer guy or whatever, you know, you, you're short, you're like Chisora, you come in and you've got to bring in war, do you know what I mean? The only chance you got hurt, like guys like Usyk who move about and that is early, you've got to, you've got to let them know you're there, you've got to, you've got to fight basically. But the thing is with that is, um, you know, guys like Usyk, these boxers who are awkward or tricky, um, they just, they, they can make you think that's what i'm saying it can make you overthink yourself that can make you um because you're scared of the counters coming back this is the thing with joshua the speed and and the looseness of the use just made him made him uh gun shy they can't make you gun shy in it but um like i said you gotta get past that you gotta accept that you're gonna get hit do you know what i'm saying um and that's what you saw did Usyk. you know he accepted he's gonna get hit and he went after him, but he's got a decent chin, do you know what I'm saying? Um, but Joshua's got to do that in the rematch. He's got to accept that he's going to get hit. And he might get knocked out, but he's going to have to, early on, he's going to have to just go for it. Let his hands go. Don't overthink. Don't overthink your shots. Don't try to hurt Usyk, basically. Just throw punches because you'll... I realise is when you throw punches, you, you're you going to hurt someone. Simple as, mate. Because... Um, um, yeah, basically, when you're not looking to hurt someone, you're gonna hurt them, and letting your hands go, you're gonna, you're gonna, you'll catch him with a shot that he doesn't expect. Basically, when you're trying to box and you're trying to look good, so you're trying not trying to get hurt against a boxer like Usyk, you know, he's just gonna make you look stupid, isn't it? You've got to sell out. You've got to just go for it. You got to let your hands go, basically. And this is boxing one on one. This is coming from my experience, just amateurs learn uh, amateur boxing, and then. And just sparring in the gym, you know, against people. Do you know what I mean? The best, when I've heard, the uh, times I've heard people is when I just didn't think about it. I just threw the punches. They didn't really look that good. But you just catch people. Do you know what I mean? You catch people. <laughs> You've got to throw punches, you know what I'm saying? Um, defense is important, like I said, but boxing is about, you know, it's about throwing punches, isn't it? <laughs> Obviously, hit and not get help, but it's about throwing punches. You're not going to win a fight if you don't throw punches, no matter how good your defense is. So, you know, you got to let them hands go, mate. This is, this is I'm telling you, boxing one-on-one, -on -one, let your hands go, man. Yeah, get into a scrap, get into a, uh, a fight and, you know, and then you, you'll you calm down. Then you can, you know, become a bit more cute and stuff like that. But to hurt someone to, in the boxing, you got to let your hands go. No punches. What was the point? Um, you can't overthink in there. Accept that you're gonna get hit, and that's what he's got to do. He's got to accept he's gonna get hit. He might get hurt in there. He's got to fight it. Do you know what I mean? Rocky Balboa, man. Um, fucking. It's not how hard he's whatever. I don't know what the fucking quote is, but you got to keep got to keep going, man. Can Joshua do it? I don't know. I don't think he. I don't know. We'll see the rematch. But Usyk is a tough guy because he's got a good chin as well, and. Um, He'll, accept, he'll expect Josh to come on to him. So it's going to be tough for Joshua. But Josh has got a fight. That's simple as. It's a fight. Yeah. It's a fucking fight. So fight him. Yeah. Winner take all. That's it, man. You know, you got to have that attitude. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I said, like, short fighters have no choice. They've got to go, go, go in there. Close this and fucking let them hands go. Get him in the ropes. Get used to the ropes. Let your hands go, man. It don't matter where you hit him. Do you know what I mean? Like Rocky Marciano, hit him on the shoulder, hit him, whatever, back of the head. You just got to catch him, man. 
Yeah, but that's like I said, that's one of the boxing one on ones, baby. Let your hands go, let your hands fly. Okay, that's the only way uh, you can hurt people, man. You don't want to overthink in there too much because at the end of the day, that's the, the training you do, the drills you do, they should be automatic in there. You shouldn't have to think about like where you land, just throw punches. You'll land, mate. And, uh, and that's, that's, that's all I gotta say, man.